Uh, but I thought I'd share with you today a little bit of my own uh, personal experience uh, working in politics. Uh, you know, a lot of folks want to work in the White House. A lot of folks want to work uh, on Capitol Hill. A lot of folks want to work in the State Department. A lot of folks want to work in the Supreme Court, the Pentagon, uh, any agency of the federal government. Uh, and I think the thing one must always remember is so do a lot of other people. Uh, probably the most sought after profession in America outside of high paying lawyerships uh, are careers uh, in the prestigious District of Columbia. Uh, myself uh, was a dreamer. Uh, as a young boy, I always wanted to work in politics, uh, had a passion for the presidency, uh, and so uh, pursued that career uh, and was fortunate enough to uh, be a congressional staffer uh, for the Ways and Means Committee on the U.S. House uh, back during uh, Chairman uh, Thomas's, uh, what I like to call, regime uh, experience. Uh, in addition to being a staffer and working for the chief uh, tax counsel who was essentially the writer of what became known as the infamous Bush uh, tax cuts. I, I've also worked on a plethora of different uh, campaigns uh, as a field director, uh, as a uh, letter dropper, as a hard worker, uh, ranging from presidential campaigns uh, through Senate, congressional, and uh, mayoral campaigns. And so I, I thought it would be wise for me to share my experience uh, not from a sort of uh, celebrityness, sort of, you know, look at me perspective, but rather uh, from the perspective of a, you know, working class kid who grew up in a, a far worse weather place called Niagara Falls, New York, than you live in, uh, who dreamt the dream of one day uh, uh, taking to the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives uh, in live session uh, and being part of the legislative process. Uh, it is a possible dream, but it is a dream that is conditioned uh, in many different aspects uh, that in some sense uh, is Herculean. Uh, my personal experience, I worked for a, uh, a gentleman who had two law degrees. And everyone says, why do you have two law degrees? Well, some people just get a lot of law degrees. Uh, and one of the things uh, that you will learn if you experience DC is that people are very decorated. And by decorated, I mean they have lots of degrees. They're very smart people. They're very ambitious people. Um, and almost universally, the folks in Washington start out as interns. Uh, my boss started out as an intern inside the US Senate building, literally operating the members' uh, elevator, which they don't do anymore, but at one time they did. And so it didn't matter how high up the food chain or hierarchical uh, structure one got whoever you meet typically starts out as an intern. And so my best word of advice for all young people who uh, aspire to the lofty uh, realm of American politics is intern. Uh, and interning is the starting point. There is not a lot of leapfrogging and bypassing and shortcutting in America in general. And I will assert to you that DC is, is by far one of the most um, structured career places I've ever uh, experienced. Uh, and so interning is the first uh, component, followed by uh, the true passion and energy to essentially work your little tail off. Um, the thing that struck me most throughout my, my career in Washington was that everybody, everybody wanted to move up. You know, no one was ever satisfied with the position they had. And, and this is not just staffers, members do this as well, going from the House to the Senate to the presidency. Uh, and so hard work is a, a cliche, I know it is, um, but the reality is DC is full of hyper ambitious people. You know, they used to say DC is, for, uh, is Hollywood for ugly people, and there's some, some truth to that in, in the sense that the folks who go there have a passion. Uh, in fact, many times the staffers themselves are far more passionate than the members of Congress and will work their living tails off to essentially bridge the gap and become part of the social elite that is Washington, D.C. Uh, the parties are true. I like to tell students that uh, uh, the House of Cards is based on uh, uh, a portion of D.C. reality. Uh, it is a party town conditioned by a hardworking town, conditioned by an ambitious, prestigious town. So one, therefore, should not be shy uh, if you want to have a career in D.C. politics. 
uh, one should not uh, 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 be introverted if you want to have a career in DC politics. Outgoingness, forwardness, connections, education, ambition, and just a general drive to, uh, uh, um, I hate to say it, but I, I guess it's somewhat inappropriate, but I'll say it anyway, uh, I'll compete uh, is essentially a social Darwinism at its worst form, in many cases, uh, a DC lifestyle. Uh, but what I can attest to you, that this is my personal experience, so don't generalize it. I am a scientist, so I will say that. Um, but I will also say um, the odds of proving me wrong are very low uh, in, in relation to this personal anecdote. Uh, but what I will say is that the dream is possible and once you make it, once you taste uh, uh, what is the forbidden fruit of power, once you stand in the U.S. House of Representatives in a live session on the floor or the U.S. Senate or you go to an inside politics meeting, uh, you will have a rush of euphoric joy if you truly are passionate about politics. Uh, as many of our members are, as many as our, our staffers are, and I can tell you um, that it is a plausible career path and it is an incredible rewarding one um, to experience uh, the rush of American DC politics. And likewise, campaign work is generally a good foothold or path to DC. Many staffers come from the campaigns uh, of senators or congressmen and so essentially picking the right horse is very important. Uh, in terms of gaining employment in DC politics. Uh, so my time is very short. I have to give a lecture on Karl Marx, so uh, I have to prepare my mind for that uh, in five minutes. So any questions uh, that the students would have but have probably already asked me in, in personal uh, closed circuit. Yes, Dr. Harold. So you know, what I tell students is um, you want to go to you want to move to D.C. to get a D.C. address first, or you want to intern there. Correct. And you want to do a lot of networking right there. Correct. But then you want to um, find roommates, get a D.C. Ad address and area code, and then just do informational interviews on the hill, mm. where you're literally setting up interviews with people to just let them know you're there, and then your resume, so that when a position comes open, right. they think, didn't we just talk to someone? Mm -hmm. Might have been good for that, and then they can fish out their resume. Is that is, is that kind of the process that, that would work, or what would your practical advice be for going about? Uh, no, I think you're you're on to it. The uh, job openings, especially on the Hill, like legislative assistant positions or say uh, administrative positions, move very very quickly, uh, and members tend to have sort of a short string of people that they know uh, for those positions. Uh, there is, of course, the Congressional Job Bank, uh, which is a published PDF document that is available um, at any, any point of time. Uh, and so ultimately, members uh, uh, will post an announcement, but those jobs will move very, very quickly. Um, so networking, and I used to, used to always say you don't have to pay for food in D.C. because there's always a, uh, a social function, so you really need to hit up uh, what are the sort of policy wonk uh, 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 meetings for the members and meet members that way through free lunches. Yeah. You know, that's the first rule of politics, never pay for food. <laughs> Among many other things, of course. <laughs> but those who've lived in D.C. know that uh, networking is an understatement. Uh, you know, I've never experienced, I worked in corporate banking and you know, different process academia, different process. DC is a, is a, a beast unto itself. Um, and networking and social connections is hypercritical in one's success. Uh, but the jobs are available, you just have to go after them. You know, as, with, as is the case with any career path, you know. Um, any other questions before I uh, regale on Karl Marx? Very good, thank you so much.